Mom, I'm home. Where are you? We were supposed to go bowling together. Remember? Hey, wow! A new television. Look at all this. There's a fridge and a washing machine too. I wonder how much it all cost. Hey, look! The price tags are on the equipment. Let me add them up. How much is twenty-three thousand plus fifteen thousand plus fourteen thousand four hundred and sixty-five? Um, it's fifty-two thousand four hundred and sixty-five. I think. Let me confirm it with mom. Hey, mom, how much did all this stuff cost? Uh, approximately fifty thousand rupees. But I just added them up, and it came out to be fifty-two thousand four hundred and sixty-five. Did I add wrongly? <laughs> Don't worry, you added absolutely correctly. I said fifty thousand instead of fifty-two thousand four hundred and sixty-five because I gave you an approximate number. Approximate number. Mom, I still don't understand. Sometimes for convenience, we use approximate values instead of the exact value. Still confused? Okay, tell me this. How old are you? I am 10 years old. No, tell me your exact age. Exact age? You mean in years and months? Uh, I'm ten years and four months old. Yes, but when I asked you your age, you didn't tell me your exact age. You rounded it off to the nearest convenient number and gave me your approximate age. Oh, I get it now. And this is called rounding of numbers. Yes, it is. Come on, let's go bowling now, or we'll be late. Come on, JC, it's your turn. Let's see how many pins out of ten you can knock off. You wait and watch, Mum. I'm really good at this. That was brilliant. You knocked over 9 pins. So you get 10 points. I told you I was good. Your turn now. Oh no. I knocked over only 4 pins. So I get 0 points. This is how rounding off works. If you get 5 or a number above 5 you round it off to 10 and if you get a number less than 5 you round it off to the lower number want to learn more about rounding numbers jc yes ma let's go Let's learn how to round off a number to the nearest tens. Let's think of a number. How about 47, mom? Okay, let's round off 47 to the nearest tens. First, take a look at the digit at the ones place. That's 7. Is 7 less than 5? So we make the ones place 0. and add 1 to the digit at the left of the ones place so we round off 47 to 50 what if ones digit is less than 5 mom good question let's round off 44 to the nearest tens since 4 is less than 5 We make the ones place zero 
and let the tense place remain as it is. Now let's learn how to round off a number to the nearest hundred. How about 168? Take a look at the digit in the tens place. Is 6 greater than 5? Yes, it is. So we make the tens and the ones place 0 and add 1 to the digit to the left of the tens place. But if you have a number like 531, where the tens digit is less than 5, you make the tens and the ones place 0 and let the hundreds place remain as it is. In the same way, you can round off a number to its nearest thousand, lakh or even crore. Just look at the next digit to the given place to be rounded off too. Check if it's greater or lesser than 5 and do the needful. Now let's round off some larger numbers. Come on JC, round off 14,642 to the nearest thousand. We are rounding off to the nearest thousand, so we'll look at the digit at the hundreds place, which is 6. So we'll add 1 to the digit at the thousands place and make the other digit 0. Very good! Let's take 1,56,732. Uh, the digit next to the place to be rounded off is 5. Yes, it is. So you add 1 to the next digit. 1,56,732 becomes 2 lakh. That's great, Mom. Thanks. I think I get it now. JC, lost in thought? What are you thinking about? So many books. Just wondering how many books this bookshop may have. Oh, let's see. Finding that out shouldn't be a problem. But how? We can't sit and count them all. No, but we can estimate. It is easier to count the total number of shelves. So, if we know the total number of shelves and also the approximate number of books on each shelf, we can multiply the two. This will give us an idea of roughly how many books this bookshop has? Cool! What are you waiting for then? Off you go! Start counting! Mom, this bookshop has 37 shelves. So you can round it off to 40. And each shelf has 56 books. So does that mean I can round it off to 60? Yes, okay. Let's multiply now. What's 40 into 60, JC? Uh, 2400. This bookshop has got 2400 books. Approximately 2000 books, JC. And you know what we just did? We just estimated the total number of books in this bookshop. Oh, that's cool, Mom. So can we do this with any sort of calculation, like adding, subtracting? Yes, you can. So if you want to estimate a sum, round off all the values to be added and then add them. 
you can also do this while subtracting two numbers okay mom i'll remember that mom i really want to buy these three books sure jc do you want anything else no i think that's all then let's go and pay for them how much did you pay mom 580 for three books hey i think we can approximate the price of each book from that first we round off 580 to 600 the approximate cost of each book is 600 rupees divided by 3 that is 200 rupees approximately <laughs> yes that's correct why are you laughing ma nothing you are suddenly an expert at estimation that's all mom let's revise all that we have learnt about rounding off an estimation while rounding off a whole number to the required place such as tens hundreds thousands or lakh take a look at the digit to the right of the given place if the digit to the right is 5 or greater than 5 then add one to the digit at the required place and the other digits to the right become zero if the digit to the right is less than 5 then the digit in the required place remains the same and the other digits to the right become zero look at the given examples remember this about estimation While estimating sums, round off each number to its greatest place value and then add, subtract, multiply or divide as needed. <laughs>